From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Jacob Matthews. We're now looking at a live shot of the Edinburgh weather camera. The Sam Catania painting weather camera is still showing pretty brisk and chilly conditions over there. For all of those Edinburgh residents, you're going to want to get that jacket ready before stepping out the door. It's still looking pretty cool over there, and we're also seeing cool conditions over on the Erie Bayfront on the Northlings Heating and Air Conditioning weather camera, though it is a very nice shot of the uh, Sheraton Hotel as well as the Bicentennial Tower, so a nice shot to look at while enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee. Temperature is still sitting in the 40s across uh, the county as well as into Crawford County, and we're also going to see these lake-induced showers occasionally reaching the lake shore from Girard over to northeast, even into Chautauqua County. That's going to be the case for uh, towns close to the lake shore, but partly sunny otherwise if you live south of I-90. And be sure to get those raincoats uh, ready before going to school, and that's to all of the kids out there. But And we're also seeing temperatures in the upper 30s as well as the mid 40s. So it's also pretty chilly, so you wanna stay bundled up once you get ready for the bus ride to school. And then the bus ride home from school, slightly warmer, but still jacket weather, uh, 52 to 56 for the afternoon, partly sunny skies and mostly dry. 45 in McCain, thanks to Judy for that temperature. 46 uh, from uh, Keith in McCain as well. And we're looking at 43 from Lori in Edinburgh, 45 in Penn State Barron, still looking pretty cool over in Cory. Liz gave us a temperature of 42 degrees. Looking at 42 for Chandler's Valley, 41 for Canadota Lake. Ed from Westmead gave us 43. Even though we are seeing 40s, the wind chills are still making those temperatures feel more like the 30s, especially in Warren, Bradford, Meadville, even in Franklin. So yeah, you're gonna wanna keep that jacket uh, handy before stepping out the door. You may wanna bundle up a little bit, but thankfully you're not gonna have to bundle up too much for the end of the work week because we're seeing high pressure building in, allowing southerly winds for the end of the work week. And of course, that'll be after all of these lake-induced showers that will continue to affect our area thanks to this low pressure system still to our north. That's for today and for parts of tomorrow, but we're seeing these southerly winds late in the day for Wednesday, and then another chance of showers possible for Meadville, maybe even Warren for Thursday, but the chances are looking pretty low. Drying out for Friday. Looking at the water temperature of 64 for Lake Erie, it's going to be much warmer compared to what we're going to see for today on land. 55 on the lake shore, 56 inland. And then we're going to warm up into Friday, looking at a temperature of 64 with breaks in cloud cover, more sunshine for that day. But it won't be long until we see longer periods of rain for next weekend. 60 degrees for Saturday, but a cooling trend afterwards. 57 Sunday, 56 Monday.